Today we're taking a look at the Wavelink UMD308 USB-C docking station. Thanks to Wavelink for sponsoring this video. This USB-C dock is one of the smaller types of docking stations that you can get for your laptop. Considering the connectivity that it has, it's a relatively small size, which is kind of a plus if you're doing a work from home setup and you don't want to take up a lot of space on your desk. But it's also very handy if you're in a situation where you need an on-the-go type of USB docking station. This dock connects to your PC by USB-C, and it does support one USB-C 100 watt power delivery input port, which is very nice. With this port, you don't have to lose that ability to power your laptop by USB-C because it can transfer in up to 100 watts. We also have one 8K 60 Hz capable display port if your PC supports it, as well as two HDMI ports that are both supporting 8K 60, again, if your PC supports it, over that USB-C connection. In terms of video connections, that's actually really good. You could potentially drive three or even four displays if your laptop will do that. On the flip side of the dock, we have some USB 2.0 type A ports for external keyboards, mice, flash drives, anything else that you might have that you need to plug in. In terms of my setup, I have an Asus Strix laptop. I ran my keyboard, my mouse, and a 32 gig flash drive off of the dock with no issues while using two HDMI connected monitors. The USB-C hub itself seems pretty well constructed. I like the look of the device. I prefer silver color like this, and the braided cable actually seems very strong, which is nice. I think it's going to hold up well over time. That'll definitely come in handy for people who are on the go as well. In my test setup here, like I said, I have an Asus Strix laptop, and I connected both of my Asus monitors, my EVGA keyboard, and my Ebkin Core mouse. And then just to be sure about the USB port connectivity, I did connect one of my 32 gig Western Digital drives, and the hub had no issues handling everything. In terms of the displays being recognized, no issues at all. As soon as I plugged both in, my laptop was able to see both of the monitors, and I was able to set them up how I liked. Overall, I would say that I do like this docking station. It's one of the smaller types of docking stations, which is very handy if you want to hide this in your work from home setup, like I said, or if you just need to take it with you on the go. I really like that this has very good video connectivity if your laptop supports 8K60 over DisplayPort or HDMI. And it's nice that you do get a couple of USB ports on the back for accessories and storage, and you get to retain that 100 watt USB-C power delivery input port if your laptop can be powered by USB-C. I think that's nice for a small package like this. In terms of value, I think this is relatively good value. If video connectivity is really your primary need, those AK60 capable ports are definitely what you're looking for. In terms of my experience with docking stations, I haven't had much. I like this one, I think it's very handy, and I'll probably put this in my laptop bag for when I travel around with it. But I'm actually kind of interested to know what all of you are looking for in terms of docking stations. What features matter most to you? Do you care about overall connectivity, the quantity of ports, uh, do you care about the video support, 8K60, HDMI, DisplayPort, or is just data transfer speed most important to you? Let me know in the comment section below, because like I said, I'm curious. I'll have links to this docking station and some other PC gadgets in the description as well, so definitely check that out. If you're into gaming and home lab stuff like this, definitely get subscribed to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, stay connected.